I just got my very first V8. Hello guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. Before we take a look at that V8, make sure you give this video a like, it really does help me out and it shows your appreciation. Now then, without further ado, let's go take a look. So then, a massive thank you to Sterling Kit for supplying me with my very first V8 engine. They are the sponsor of today's video. Now, this is of course a model V8 engine, but I've, I've wanted one of these now for so long. I've seen them all over the internet and to finally have my hands on one of these. I cannot wait to get it built up over the Christmas period. This engine does have an electric motor on as well, so it does run and it will look very, very nice in my office, I'm sure. But yes, a massive thank you to Sterling Kit. If you do wanna check them out, if you wanna get one of these for yourself, there will be a link down in the description box below, so feel free to check that out. So let's get straight in and let's see exactly what is included in in this kit. So we'll just have a look at this side of the box first. A few of the structural features. So it's an eight cylinder V-shaped engine, of course, V8 engine. It's uh, overhead cam. It's uh, cam chain gear. So it does have uh, a timing chain on it. Traditional crankshaft conrod system. And there is over 660 pieces included in this kit. So yeah, this is not something you're gonna do in a short space of time. You're gonna have to allow for, a, say, I'd say probably a good day to get this thing built. But it is a family game, so it is for all ages. And um, it's something that is gonna be great if you have kids and you want to get them to learn about the workings of an engine. Well, maybe you are an adult and you just love this kind of stuff. It's definitely gonna keep me occupied. And as I mentioned, it's gonna look great in my office. So yeah, let's just uh, get this thing cracked open and let's see what is inside. Okay then, so I guess first thing is first, we have the instructions. Definitely gonna need this. I don't think I'd be able to assemble an engine from scratch, especially with 660 pieces or more. So yeah, just a fairly simple step-by-step -step guide. Looks relatively easy to follow along. But in here, wow, okay. So one thing I do want to mention, I want to make a point of, this is a metal engine. So it's comprised of, I guess, aluminium and steel parts. There are some of these engines, some of these model engines out there that are plastic. They're obviously, you know, not as good as this. So yeah, to have a fully metal one, it just looks and feels uh, a bit better. I mean, even like this, uh, I guess this is a, uh, Crankshaft gear, probably, crankshaft pulley. It feels nice, you know what I mean? I guess these are the valves, aren't they? <laughs> How cute is that? Tiny. What do we have here? Are these are spark plugs? I'm gonna assume these are the spark plugs. Obviously, they're not real spark plugs at the end of the day, this is a model, but the attention to detail that I'm seeing in this already is, yeah, crazy. These are the bearing caps, I assume. So the fact that there is holes as well, that must mean everything is bolted together, I'd imagine. Let's lift this tray out anyway. Well, I just love how everything is very nicely laid out in the box. Uh, is this one of the timing chains? <laughs> That's crazy. So, so small. Here's the pistons. These feel nice. And these must be the camshafts. Hopefully gives you an idea as to how big this engine is. So That's my hand. That's one of the camshafts. What are these, the timing chain guides? Yeah, even these are metal, which is good. The conrods, 
Let's see what else we have in here. Well, okay. We have the block itself. Oh, that feels nice. I'd imagine this is steel. So it does have some weight to it. Yeah, it even has liners in as well. That's crazy. The attention to detail, I mean, it even has a, I assume that's for the oil filter, right? Could be wrong, but I assume that's what it's for. Not sure what these are for, and that's, ah. This is the cylinder head, and then I guess this is like the cam cover, I guess. I'm not sure which way around it goes, but yeah, that kind of makes sense. I guess it probably sits on like that. Oh, I cannot wait to get this built. Once it's running as well, once it's rotating, you'll be able to see the valves going up and down. This must be the crank. Well, that has some weight to it. Very heavy, that is. And then this has to be the motor, I would imagine. And all the wiring, because yeah, like I said, it does run off an electric motor. I guess, yeah, all the hundreds of nuts and bolts. Yeah, I forgot all of the uh, valve springs and Everything as well. O-rings. Wait, we have O-rings? And yeah, hundreds more nuts, bolts, screws. Wow, yeah. This thing is definitely gonna take a while to set up. But I'm sure it'll be worth it. One thing I'm not sure about is, obviously it's a model, so I assume there's no oil supply. I mean, they can't be, right? There must just be like an increased clearance so there's no metal to metal contact. Yeah, and unless there's just, you know, it doesn't spin fast enough for it to wear the items, I don't know. But yeah, so, so detailed, this engine. I cannot wait to get started with it. If you know me, you'll know that I love anything you know, when it comes to an engine, I've rebuilt an engine myself. Love the whole process of it. And uh, yeah, if you haven't rebuilt your, an engine yourself before, this is a great place to start with one of the best, a V8, of course, as well. And as I mentioned, great fun for all the family. If you have kids, it's great to uh, get them involved with something like this you know we don't know how long combustion engines are going to be around for so if you do have young kids this is something that they can learn and hopefully not forget about in the future but yeah once again i want to say a massive thank you to sterling kit for supplying me with this engine and for giving me the opportunity to make this video it's you know with the help of these sponsors that we can make the videos that we do and we can continue forward with the projects on the channel so yeah massive thank you to them like i said if you do want to check them out or maybe you want to get yourself an engine there will be all of the links down in the description box below but i want to thank you all for watching as well remember to give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i'll see you all in that next one